Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix Prince Baller servers keep stopping in Windows 7. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so when the spooler service stops, you will not be able to print anything uh, from your machine. So for example here, Notepad, if I go File and Print, uh, you'll get an error message up, typically one like this, or another one might say Prince Baller service is not started. Um, also here you can see there are no printers listed okay so if, to fix this if you left click on the start menu type in services and then left click on the services program and if you look for a service called print spooler so if we just double click on this so the first thing we need to do is start up type, make sure automatic is selected. Uh, next, we can see here it's stopped, so click start. Um, so if we go back to notepad now, we should be able to print. Yeah, we can see here that my printers are now listed and I should hopefully be able to press print and it will print with no problems. Um, but what we can do to pre prevent that issue coming back, if you click on the recovery tab and by default um, on a failure it takes no action. But what you can actually do is if you select restart the service, if you just do it for all three um, options here. So in the future if that Windows service print spooler is going to stop again, uh, the system will actually try and restart it for you. So if you try that, if you still get issues, we need to update uh, the printer driver. So if you click on the start menu, go to devices and printers. And you need to repeat this process. I'm going to show you for all of the printers you've got. So if you just right click, go to printer properties, then click on the advanced tab. And here driver HP Business Inkjet 1000. So what you need to do is if you go to Google and just search for HP Business Inkjet 1000 driver or whatever your printer is, so if it's a LaserJet 4000, search for that. Uh, download the latest driver and install it in your system and that will definitely fix the problem. Uh, but as I said, if you do it for every single printer you've got in your system and it will definitely work. Okay, thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, please post them below. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.